You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to grow amazing pond monsters with my Triops World Kit. First, though, I need to say thanks to Champion Enterprises LLC for sending this to me to check out on video with you today. Two times the Triops guaranteed to hatch twice the number of triops as other kits designed for children by nature experts hatch in 24 hours two times the eggs for two times the hatch study the amazing triop life cycle watch them double in size every day let's see not much more there not much more there little picture here shows you the hatch in 24 hours study the amazing triop life cycle watch them double in size every day Okay, so this is for children over seven. And a couple warnings there. And then let's see, Triops, king of the temporary pond. In a dry and arid desert, storm clouds gather. It begins to rain and small ponds form on the earth. This triggers an amazing biological event. Tiny eggs that have laid dormant for years come to life. A week later, the pond is teeming with weird and wonderful creatures, fairy shrimp, clam shrimp, and Daphnia. But the biggest and most impressive of all these animals is the Triops, the king of the temporary pond, whose ancestors date back to the time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And there you go, I am going to now check out the kit, so when I come back, I will get this out of the box. All right, let's see what comes with the kit. Here we go. Okay, this looks interesting. This says Triops World, eggs and food. So there's something in there. There we go. Do not overfeed, it says. And then, Triops USA. So they're both different packets. Let's see, oh, that side says shrimp food. This side says Triops eggs, okay? A nice little brochure, I will leave through that. And then, what I would call the pond, a little fish tank here. Or Triops tank, that's what we'll call it. On the side is a temperature gauge, which is nice. I'm going to do this all probably in a time lapse. So now there's another little pack here with some stuff in it. Let's see the supplies. Okay. So there's a little sand, a spoon, and a dropper. Let me open this up. Okay, there's also a little plastic thing. I don't know what that is yet. I'll figure that out. Okay, there's your sand, that, and the dropper. Okay, so now we've gotten it all out of the package. Let's take a look at the brochure. I'll move it all the way. We'll read through this real quick, see how we get started. All right, I am back. Remember this little plastic piece? This goes, I think, to the top of the lid. But the lid, which you see as part of the contents, is no longer being included with the kit. So I got some kits where the lid is out, but it's still in the paperwork and on the box. They are removing that information. It was uh, causing problems with oxygen levels in the water, so it's best to not have the lid on there. All right, this kit is a hands-on guide for budding naturalists and contains the equipment you need to observe and study the fascinating life cycle of traps. The kit is designed to be fun and informative for kids of all ages. However, young children will need the help and supervision of adults. Your traps are guaranteed to hatch, so if you have any problems, see the details at the back of this booklet. Finally, I hope you have fun with this kit and discover some fascinating insights in the truly amazing life of triops. Okay, so there is the introduction. When you add water to the little packet of detritus that is included in this kit, you will be launching the bizarre life of an ancient animal that has been doing the same thing rather successfully for some 300 million years. Traps pronounced triops which are also called tadpole or shield shrimps, are creatures that biologists often call living fossils and traps have truly earned this title. All right, I'll read more of this maybe later as we're watching. So all you need to do in order to get the most out of your traps is to recreate the conditions in a temporary pool. Now, uh, I had asked them earlier what kind of water. So right there, it tells you you want to use distilled water, right? Bottle. Don't use tap water. Don't use uh, bottled water. Make sure it, uh, let's see, avoid using any purified water. So I have distilled water. Let's take a look at what I got. It's the Hinkley and Schmidt distilled water. That is what I'll be using. So I think 
It's, uh, well, first thing yet, yeah, rinse out your tank with a little of your water. Don't use tap water or soap and then wipe it dry with kitchen towel or tissue paper. And then add distilled water to the tank until about three quarters full. So let's do that. I'm gonna get another bowl in here. We'll pour some water in and rinse it out and then begin the process. But I don't think I'm gonna wipe it out with paper towel. I'll wipe off the outside, but not the inside. Ensure that the water in the tank is at a temperature of 80 degrees before adding your eggs. So then I will set up a little light system here and we will begin the process. All right, I am back. Now I have two lights on the side. What I'll do at the end is give you a quick picture shot of my setup so you can see how the light set up. They recommend 40 watt light bulbs and or one of those mats that go underneath. So let me rinse you know, the reptile mats to keep your reptiles warm. I've done this once already just to kind of get a thorough off camera cleaning. I didn't want to use any kind of paper towel on the inside or rag because those do contain, can contain some type of contaminant. Now that's set. They want three quarters full of your distilled water. Okay, yeah, that's close. Maybe a touch more. There, I feel better about that. And then a couple things. I'm gonna set this up as a, well, here's the picture they show you of how to set it up. So I do have a light like that. Now my lighting is much different. I've toned it down. I'm gonna change some things. So this needs to get up to 80 degrees. So let me do this. And they also give some tips and being able to see them. So I will follow that as this uh, progresses. So let me get this to 80 degrees and then we'll check back. All right, here we go. The first heat check. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. I have moved the lights in slightly. On the right, it's, uh, I mean, on the left side, it says about 75. So we'll see how accurate that is. Let me, okay. Well, that's pretty accurate. Let me hit it in a couple spots. 75, higher up, 73. So it's warmer on the bottom, and then right at the top, it's 74. So it's hotter at the bottom. So let me back up the side light and move down the top light. And when I get at the 80, I want to hold that 80 for a little while. I don't want it to keep heating up. So I want to make sure that it holds for a little while. All right, I'll check back. All right, let's check. It's actually been an hour or more. So let me just give you an external temp. It's uh, 76 on that outside area. We have 79.5, so I would say we're as close to 80 as we're gonna get. It's been holding this temp for a while. Little hotter on that side, let's see. 81 there, so let me back off the lights just a little there, and I think we should be good. Let me check the temp on this side, 78. So as we add 80.4, I think we're Pretty good, I'm gonna raise this one just a little off the top, okay? Now, what does it say? When the water's up to temperature, sprinkle the bag of detritus onto the water, or detritus, I don't know. Detritus, detritus, whatever you wanna call it. I'm in a different video book today, so if I sound different, it's because my time lapse is on a different part of my video area. This contains the triops egg. So remember now, this is what I want to sprinkle in and then it gives you a couple little steps. So I will do that. Let's get this sprinkled in. Now it does suggest a black background. So it did suggest that. Then it says, Give a brister, okay. That looks pretty brisk. Then after that, it says, okay, and then clean with water to ensure no eggs are stuck to the side. So I have a little bit of extra water here. Let me make sure I get everything off of there. That's the same distilled water. Okay, I think from here, I'm gonna go into time-lapse mode. So let's see what happens. Uh, so small, you will not be able to see them. Oh, your tribe should start hatching within 24 hours. They may take up to seven days, so be patient. All right, so I'm gonna go into time-lapse mode. Maybe I'll mix it up just a little bit more. Gives me something to do. 
I feel like it's got to get wet a little bit. And it should start sinking. Right, let me get it off of that. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll check back. All right, I am back. Now you might have seen in the time lapse. By the way, that was about 13 hours, so we have time to go. I did come in. It looked like the water dropped slightly. And I haven't really done much to mix it, but let me just get a little oxygen going in here. Okay. I have not seen any kind of movement yet in the water, so we still have time. They did say 24 hours. It's only been half of that, maybe. So let me check the temp. Okay, so I'm 79.9. Little hotter on the right side. 80.8. Let me take one from the top, because that's probably where it's going to be the hottest. Okay, that one's a little hot, so I'm going to move the light up a little. And then we'll go from there. The temperature on the side says 78. So I think we're right on uh, the plant. So let me uh, set the time lapse again. That first time lapse was about 900 pictures. So now I'm going to have to adjust it. That was one picture every minute. So I think soon I'll have to go to say a picture every 10 seconds so we can see them move around or just do regular live video and let it record for a while. All right, I will keep checking back. All right, I am back. It has been less than two, well, it's been about two days, not full days, about a day and a half, and I already have some hatching. I have four or five that I was able to see in there. Hopefully you saw that in the time lapse. So I'm gonna actually end this video now so that I could do a video two so you can follow along. And then in video two will be the one where I clean out the detritus. It says after two or three days, I need to clean that out and then feed them for the first time. So that's what I'm gonna do in the next video. So I'll put a little bit more time lapse of them swimming in the size they are, and then you will see an updated video. All right, thanks for watching, later.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.